Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to do my top five favorite DS games. Now, this is my opinion. Leave hate out of this if you don't see, like, your number one or number four on here. So, let's get started. At number five, we have Yoshi Touching Go. It's a really good game. All you need is your stylus so you can have all your buttons removed and it would, it's all gone. And uh, you can still play this game. Um, it's a pretty good game. I get it under eighteen dollars. Challenge mode is um challenging versus mode is fun. And uh, yeah, multiplayer, great. Uh, now we got Grand yeah Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. It's a pretty good game. Freedom's kind of taken out because it's overhead and jumping doesn't exist, but. It's a pretty good game. The multiplayer I haven't tried. I get it under thirty dollars. No, under twenty-five dollars. Yeah. Uh, number three, we got Super Mario sixty-four DS. Now, um, this game's pretty good. Single player is great. Multiplayer is great. Mini games are great. Um, even though with the D-pad, it feels kind of loose and wobbly. Uh, it. And the touchscreen controls suck, but this is still a good game, and I'd recommend getting it under $30. Alright, and then number two, we got Rayman DS, one of the rarest games in my collection. It isn't seen that much anymore, and I got the case, too, so that's something. No multiplayer. Um, Feels kind of loose with the D-pad, kind of like some more 64 DS, and uh, really fun, good, and... Uh, I would buy it under 35 dollars. $35. Number one, I don't have the case for this game. Is Diddy Kong Racing DS. Now you're probably wondering why not Mario Kart because this one has adventure mode. Mo you can play all the courses in single card, a lot more multiplayer options, and it's just better. And the characters are all good, except Crunchy sucks. And, um, I had a really fun time with this game, except I still don't know how to get Future Funland. Um, I've beaten Wizpig. Um, best character to play as him is, uh, play against Wizpig as Pipsy. I get this under $60. I'd really buy it for $60. This game is amazing. And you need to buy it right now if you don't have it. Now, I have no idea why people hate this over the N64. I don't have one, so I don't know how D Diddy Kong Racing the original is. I, it looks pretty good. And also, one more excuse for this game. Be right back. I like this game so much. For $6 on eBay, I bought this. A Diddy Kong Racing VHS tape. Let's get ready. The racing title of the year. Now, this is over the old version, but it still gave me some tips. It wasn't really what I hoped it would be, but... Uh, there's Taj floating on balloons. He's a heavy elephant. How is he floating? It's pretty good. It's, about, it's 8 minutes and 15 seconds long. Yes, I actually timed it. For $6, it's worth it. Just don't get it any more than $6. It, it's not worth it. Same thing with other, uh, other, and, you know, Nintendo Power VHS tapes. Now, I hope you like this video. Get Diddy Kong Racing if you don't have it. And, uh, I, sometime... Probably like next week or so, I'll make a review over this game. So, uh, see you later. Bye.